Hey y'all, it's me Robin from Table Talk with Robin and today I am bringing you a tablescape in a collab being hosted by the Decorated Tea Party Club and it is called the Spring Decor Ideas Tablescape Collab 2022. We host this collab every season which is four times a year and we uh, celebrate having tea parties with the seasonal tea party tablescape. The members of the Decorated Tea Party Club are our founder, Allie from Glam Elegant Living, Anna from the Grace Life DIY, Geraldine of the Diva Decorating Channel, Pat of Style with Pat, Felicia of the Rogers House, and myself, Robin of Table Talk with Robin. Please stop by and check out this talented group of young ladies' channels. They offer lots of beautiful tablescapes, DIYs, inspirational messages, <clears throat> and just plain fun. And this is a continuation of my bee-themed spring tablescapes. I used black and white and hints of gold and mustard yellow, which are the colors of a bumblebee or a honeybee. And since I like to decorate with a boho chic aesthetic, um, I used a lot of different patterns um, and some of the same color schemes but um, in different ways. So the tablecloth that I used is actually a piece of fabric um, and it was the last piece of fabric on a roll so I got it as a remnant and then it was on sale for 40 or 60 percent more off. Um, so that is one of the, the newest things on this table. Everything else I already had. Um, the dinnerware is the large plate with the black dots on it is from the Dollar Tree. The salad plate is from the Time and Place um, dinnerware from Walmart. The wine glasses and the tear tray are from the thrift store. I the purchased gold. the tea set from Amazon.com and Home Goods, I believe it was. Um, the runner, I can't remember where I got it from. I think I got that from the thrift store as well. And then there are my beautiful bee, uh, queen bee napkin rings that I used in a previous spring video. The candle um, holders are from Hobby Lobby. And I like using double napkins. Um, it gives a little extra color um, to the napkins. Um, I don't know how to fold different weighs very well. Uh, I'm still learning how to do that, but the fan fold seems to always um, work out well for me. And I used two different color um, nap uh, yellow napkins, mustard yellow napkins, because um, that when I got the package, there were four, it was a set of eight, it was four diamond shape, diamond white and mustard yellow, and then the solid colors, or was four of each, so I just alternated them around the table. So there's three of the uh, pattern one and three of the solid color one. The charger plates came from uh, World Market, and here I'm showing you what they look like individually. Um, I think they it looks so pretty together and it coordinates so well together um, don't be afraid to use different patterns uh, um, in the same setting um, you'd be surprised at how it can look 
And because there's so much pattern going on, I didn't want to further complicate it by adding a big um, bouquet of of flowers. So I used some gold-tipped capicia stems and then some sparse red cherry blossom um, stems just to give it a little extra pop of color. And then, of course, you can't have a tea party without having goodies. So I have some cranberry orange scones, some blueberry scones, some fresh fruit, and some lemon bars. I want to thank Allie, Felicia, Geraldine, Pat, Anna for um, co-hosting this wonderful tea party. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, please go back and check out all of their channels. And if you haven't already joined my channel, I always say, what are you waiting on? Please like, share with your friends and family, and then hit the notification bell after you press the subscription button so that you don't miss any of my new upcoming videos. You guys take care. Be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.